Hey everybody, this is Out of the Rain by Jesse Coulter with Waylon Jennings and Tony Joe White. This is a little different than what I normally do in that the normal songs on this channel are going to be either the past as to where I've come from, the present where I'm at currently. This one's a little bit of vulnerability and insight into me and ultimately what I'm looking for. Um, you know, when when you go through dark times and you have dark times, having someone that you can, that you know is going to be there. Um, and I think that's what we're all looking for. I, I don't want to speak for everybody, but that's what I'm looking for. So here's to, to a little bit of insight about me and what I'm looking for in the future. Thank you. understand what that's about been in the shadows been in the dark for so long um, being lost in your life is never a good experience but when it's a self-inflicted darkness and it's not always something that you necessarily think you're ever going to be able to come out of it's it's even bleaker so to be able to come out of that darkness into something better is always what we're aiming for i'm aiming for standing at the crossroad could a wind either way whatever your crossroads in life um obviously there's four different directions you can go back the way you came the way you already know, the comfort that you already know. Um, going forward sounds like the obvious answer. Um, but sometimes when they're, when the way forward doesn't look any more promising, there's always the option of, of going left or right too. I mean, when you're weighing your options and looking at where you're at in your life, just remember that there's no clear cut path from start to finish. It's all about the journey. And, and so when you get to that crossroads, explore every option. But now I found you and the storm is behind. metaphorically there's a triple there at least um, you know depression is is clinical um, but if you have somebody in your life that understands your emotional well-being and understands where you're at in your head or not in your head um, it can make that those dark days those dark moments a little bit brighter just by having that person there. being back on the right track. Um, you know, life is about the journey, as I stated. Um, sometimes we get lost 
and there is no clear-cut directional beacons out there to guide us to where we're supposed to be going next in life and we just got to fake it till we make it um you know i i really didn't know if i'd survive arizona i really didn't um and arizona seemed hell bent on killing me so it was mutual um but you know it took a lot of courage for me to pack up and leave arizona and come out here to texas um and and just all the positive things that have fallen in place for me along the way and I'm no longer taking them for granted, but I'm not doubting them either or trying to self-sabotage. Um, I am leaving myself open. I am leaving myself vulnerable. Um, it's not hard. It's not easy. It's not. It's not easy to be vulnerable, to be open, to be honest with people about how you feel. And maybe it's a little bit easier because I'm behind a computer screen instead of trying to explain this in person. That being said, I do do photography in real life. And so in that regard, I do expose who I am to people uh, in small degrees. And, you know, it's, it's very rewarding. Um, okay. You took a sparrow Let it fly with a bee pause it right there because honestly Waylon and Jesse despite the relationship being uh, ups and downs in the relationship uh, she stayed with him until the very end third wife stayed with him till the very end um, she's got a beautiful voice he's got an amazing voice even if you don't like country the message behind the song is is incredible I mean it reminds me of like Johnny and June, um, where despite all the turbulence that they went through, they still made the best of it. And that's that speaks volumes. Your relationship is never gonna be perfect. Your life is never gonna be perfect. And if it is, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, I, I still wouldn't want it. If even if even if somebody offered me the perfect life, I probably wouldn't take it, because I know I've gotten this far based on what I've been through, and I wouldn't change it. I was watching this documentary on uh, movie chemistry relationship movie chemistry and what a lot of people have noticed and picked up is that when chemistry is not working it's obvious that it's not working because there's al it almost creates friction um, that's palpable during the movie or the show or whatever um, but the tricky part about chemistry is that when it is working, it's not noticeable because it's working. When you can walk into a room with your SO and you don't even have to mention, this is my wife, this is my girl. You just walk into the room with her and everybody immediately knows that you're there with her. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's a great feeling. It's a great feeling.
Holy shit. When we've been hurt, when we have been ostracized, alienated, when we've been used and abused and cheated on and treated like garbage we do tend to freeze up in the heart um there's a lot of gaslighting that goes on and a lot of blame finger pointing and it's hurtful and it's hateful and it sucks and so there comes a point where you do freeze that part of you because it's better to be numb than it is to feel the pain but all you're doing is postponing it um, what I've learned myself is it's better to let it out a little at a time, process it, work through it, and move forward than it is to sit on it. Um, by no means am I a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I have no medical training, no psychiatric training, I've taken a couple psych classes in school. Um, all that I'm giving you is me my advice, my life, my life story, and where I've come from and what I've experienced. Take it with a grain of salt and take it for what it's worth. I believe that I can make it now. I can make it, yeah. I feel I belong. This is for YouTube's sake and the record company. Please don't block me. Momentary pause. Look, I'm looking at this happy couple, and they really are a happy couple. Um, my parents have been married for 43, almost 44 years. September will be 44, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it can happen, it can be done. It's happening less and less now, but once you find that person that makes you happy, that's genuine, that understands who you are and, uh, and appreciates you for you, hold on to them for dear life.
All right, guys, that was Jesse Coulter, Out of the Rain. I hope you enjoyed that, and I don't mind being teased in the comments for being vulnerable and being open and honest about my feelings. Just remember, as always, I love you guys.